midweek madness in the Canadian Premier League. A 905 Derby. 100 kilometers separate these two sides from North York and Hamilton, the latter where we find ourselves today for the 19th meeting all time between these sides. Four with 11 victories, York United with six and only one draw between them. Bobby Smirniotis makes seven changes and returns to his 4-3-3. Kwesi Poku is dropped back to left back. Garvin Mishay, Matusala, Mandrakar, James, the center back duo, Razor, Rama, and right back. For York United, it is a 4-2-3-1 for Martin Nash's side. Once again, that makes five changes to the 11. Brian Wright is in at the number nine. Mokabuli lines up as the number 10 behind him. That slides Usama Lu back into that defensive midfield position after Matthew Baldessimo picked up a nine. Yeah, absolutely. Mopabuli, as I said earlier, he's the guy you want to get the ball to. He's the one that you want running at Forge's back line and giving them, you know, the trouble that we know that he can. So they definitely need to get him involved. And one year is cross to Jordan Hamilton, heads it off the crossbar and out for a goal kick. Not only against Cavalry, but with every match that she's been on the field is with direct play. Especially from the center back position. Forge can't clear. Sits up and stays in the box. Handball appeals. And a handball is awarded. Forge, who have been the protagonist for nearly 10 minutes. The first time that York make their way to the attacking third. They win a penalty off a Razard Rama handball. And a caution will accompany it as well from the referee Mathieu Chouinier. There's no consistency for Mobile Bully. He'll put it anywhere, left, right, bottom, low. His last one was low and left against Cavalry on the 23rd of July at Atco Field. Where does Mobuli go today to try and open the scoring? Henry makes himself big. Mobuli slowly up, and Henry denies him! The ear-to-ear -ear grin on Tristan Henry's face says it all. Nothing can get by. The Forge shot stopper right now. Maybe some karmic justice as well for Forge. And numbers now. Sissoko finally gets it through for Schwenier. First time, Giant Sopolis responds by punching the ball down. And they're proving that that is very much the case. It's Schwenier. And his favorite left foot gets jammed up with a Lou, but he can't clear. Ojabapur steps up. Second, third, and fourth chances remain for Forge. Sissoko to Becker lines it up. Diving is Giant Sopolis to the far post, and Kyle Becker not missing the stick by very much. It's a pretty good spot for Mobabuli, who also has Lasana five. But of course, Mobabuli involved by running off five, curls that into the side netting. Tristan Henry was fooled. I think he, like everyone else in the building, probably expected Mobabuli to at least be played short. Babuli, back heel to Alou. Jabapur bit on that play from Babuli. That opens up some space. And this time it's on the money. Ricci is able to head it forward from James, looking for right on the cross. But a transitional play for the nine strike. This is a good opportunity. Schwenier brings the ball down. A step over to try and freeze. Thompson cuts it back. Kyle Becker! Jonathan Grant denies his former teammate, gets a pat on the backside from Nico Giantsopoulos, otherwise that's in the back of the net. Yeah, you know, Adam, to your point, this is exactly when you need someone like Brian Wright to really step up and get on the end of those balls. We spoke about him being more of a traditional nine. Those traditional nines are great in that six-yard box. They're strong, they're big, they're able to finish those. It, it's got to be better. There's got to be more urgency in the box. And it's Here's Jonathan a Grant, a winding ball. Perfect example. One last desperation touch from Forge. Becker tackled off the ball by Brian Wright. Wanted a foul, thought there was a shove. Ricci sneaks that under the feet of Hijabakur. Now Mobabuli. Mobabuli across, intended for a loop, cut out by Ricci. Austin wanted it back for a shot. It's Mandrico James helping force the steal. Jonathan Grant with the slide that seemed to never end to take the ball right back for York United. It's found its way to Austin Ricci. Running at Rama, left footed cross, and it's an own goal for Forge. It is lost off of Alessandro Ojabrapur, and that is pretty well the only way to beat Tristan Henry these days is with an own goal. 
We've been talking about urgency, and that right there was a perfect example. Richie took his space. He was able to just get the ball in the box. You never know what's going to happen from it. He is somebody that shows time and time again that he is resilient. He's going to fight to that last minute. We've seen him get frustrated for how passionate he is. Brahma. Somehow that's going to work its way to Campbell. Taryn Campbell, a touch, a shot that's lacking a little bit of accuracy. Throw in taken quickly, Kyle Becker. Becker lifts it high. Campbell finds a wide open net to level the match. A harmless enough looking cross. Nico Giansopoulos had no idea where that ball was headed. And by the time he turned his head, he watched it cross the goal line. A goal apiece. The calculus has just completely changed. It's four to smartly go quick on the throw, Jess. Campbell away from Baia and Ferrari. Nice strength from Casillas into the channel that Tristan Borges runs into. Borges, a deep ball. Brought in by the goal scorer, Campbell. Return, Casillas! Wide open, a giant Sopolis frozen and just needed to play it on net. Just the striker in you just threw your hands in the air. It definitely did. I definitely did just throw my hands in the air. That's something you got to bury. I mean, that's a golden opportunity. Options on either side, dribbling forward for the time being. Now Di Rosario, Baia, bursting towards the penalty mark. Petrasso from Di Rosario. Michael Petrasso wanted it all and gets none of it. But still time for Forge to find a winner. Still time for York United to find a winner. But right now, it's advantage Forge from the corner flight. Becker's ball is a good one. Running on was James. James going across the back line for Rezar Rama. Able to connect with Noah Jensen, who lets it bounce once and runs at the York United defender. Roger Thompson fires his shot without even being able to see where he wanted to put it. Just goes away from him looking for the back post. Now he has to contend with both him and Darren Campbell. To Ferrari, Clément Baez starts his run. Ferrari plays the pass. Baez in an opening. Everyone else in white heading into the 18-yard box. Baez scanning, waiting. Baez finds a loo. Di Rosario and Petrasso in the box. Back into midfield for Brem Sumaro. Brem Sumaro fires! Oh my word! Brem Sumaro, the sniper! Halfway through at a time, and he scored another worldie! He might have just won the match for York United when it looked to be at a standstill. Roll that replay, and Brem Sumaro, take your curtain call. Time is all of a sudden the enemy of Forge. Sumaro, the goal scorer, pushes it back. And Machu Sure has blown for full time. York United on the road to Tim Hortons Field hand their biggest rival their first loss of the season.